let's talk a little bit about Luke Blackledge. Obviously, it's his first defence of the Commonwealth title. Do you think he's got the wrong person in front of him? Big mistake. No, Jay. No, it's, it's, it's good fight from what I've seen of him. Um, I don't, to be honest, like, from what I've seen, I don't know if he's as good as my last two opponents. I know I've got a loss and a draw <laughs> off them too, but I'll let you know after if he's as, as good as. But from what I've seen, I don't, I don't think he's as good as the last two people I fought. He thinks that Frank Buglioni showed you too much respect in the fight. So I don't think Frank had a choice, to be honest. <laughs> uh, he, he, he said before the fight he was going to uh, bash me up inside a couple of rounds and do this and that. He's well too much, he's come on millions and we heard it all, like I said, the last fight. And uh, he did none of it. And then after it was, uh, I don't know, excuses after. So, you know, Luke can say, Frank, give me too much respect, but he ain't going to have a choice in there. Well, he said he's the champion and he's going to fight his fight. Do yeah, I, his I, fight don't, I don't know what that means. If I don't know whether it's, it's, going, to, it's going to go two ways. He's going to try and outbox me and go on the back foot, which I have to go looking for him. I'm always going to stick it on me, which is even better. I ain't got to go looking for him. I, I might be just standing there and fight. So obviously, I'm not going to become Floyd Mayweather and I start shoulder rolling or do anything different. What he says, what you get, I'm going to just come and come fight. Now, I'm hoping they don't go 12 rounds. I hope, hope I'll get him out there earlier. So that's the thing with you. You are what you see is what you get. So when you're training, what do you work on in the gym? Um, one of my strongest points is obviously my fitness and my pressure. So just, it's no secret, there's plenty of running. You know, I just train hard and yeah, just like everyone else really. I get loads of rounds in sparring, I, everything I just do, I just do lots of, you know. Running's the, the key, just low miles, long, long miles, just running, running, running. I think both you and Luke are come forward pressure fighters. So, on the night, do you think it's going to come down to who sticks to their game plan or who's going to be fitter? Um, like I said, I don't know. If, if Luke's going to uh, try and get on the back foot and box me, then obviously, he's, if he, and he does win and he outboxes me, blah, 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 then his game plan's worked, hasn't he? But I'm not gonna, I ain't going to lie and say I'm going to get on my jab and box and all that. I'm, I'm going to come and try and take him out early doors and for the whole 12 rounds if it goes that. So. Well, talking of being at box, what did you learn from the Frank Buglioni fight that you can take into this one? Um, I think my jab's underrated, believe it or not. Like, obviously, I don't feel that much. Lenny and Dom and Ian are always uh, on my case about it. Because um, at times, even though I was a smaller man with Frank, if you see our jab exchanges, after the time I was knocking his head back when I was throwing it, which won a lot. But, you know, so I can box and jab myself a little bit as well as fight. With your style, you take shots in order to get your own off, which is great for people like me and the fight fans to sit and watch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because it, it always makes for exciting fights. But for longevity, do you ever think you've got to start sticking to boxing? Or is it, as you say, you're not going to turn into a Mayweather now? Um, yeah, maybe so. But um, I'll be honest with you, I've never, set out, I've never set any goals really in boxing. I've never said, oh, I'm going to have 100 fights or I'm going to win this or that. I've just I've always took it as it comes when I first turned pro, I was, just, I was happy to turn pro, I was happy to just go around saying, oh, I was a professional fighter, and the next minute Southern Air title was in the sights, and I thought, oh, I fought for that one, that. Everything's just, I'm telling it as it comes, you know. If, um, yeah, I've, like I say, uh, a long career would be good, but I just, I want to be in exciting fights. Last, the fight Frank just got part of the fight of the year, so that's just what I want, that's what I look forward to, that's what I want to be up for next year. And I'd love to be there again, I just want to be exciting fights. Obviously, I want to win them fights, but. That's, like, that's my main goal, really. So That's what I was going to ask, if you revel in that, because I know you've had like two majorly exciting fights, and this one on paper yeah, certainly has the pedigree to be the same. Obviously, I want to win. I don't want to be a gatekeeper or an opponent for people, but at the same time, I, I want to be in exciting fights. And um, obviously, it makes t selling tickets a lot easier when people know you're going to come give it a go and put it on the line.